Hello and welcome back to part two in our second Needle and Thread series. I'm Christine Cooper, Manager of Public Programs at the York County History Center. In part one, we conducted research to be able to make educated design choices in making a 1916 lady suit. If you missed part one, I'd encourage you to go back and watch it um, so that you understand what we're trying to accomplish with this project. With our research complete, we're now ready to move on to design and patterning. So let's get started. Because we don't have the suit or detailed photos to work from, we're going to have to make some design choices. The elements like the fitted sleeves, dropped waist with belt, long skirt, and loose jacket from the photo will be the basis of the design. To create the pattern, I'm going to use a combination of drafting and draping. Drafting is a technique that uses measurements to draw a pattern onto a flat surface like paper or fabric. Drafting the skirt will be fairly straightforward since it's a simple A-line. Draping is creating the shapes of the garment directly on a dress form. This took some trial and error to get the shapes exactly right. I've used tape to mark center lines and waist and hip lines. This will help guide the shapes. Next, I begin working the fabric onto the form, pinning where we want seams or pleats or darts to be. We'll continue to work and adjust the fabric till everything looks right, then we'll sew the pieces together to check the fit. We can make any additional changes needed. Now that everything fits together on our mock-up and it fits the form very nicely, we're ready to cut into our fashion fabric. I've already gathered the fabrics and notions that we'll need. I've selected a lightweight worsted wool for the suit. Wool is a natural fiber and depending on the weight and weave can be used in all seasons. I've also purchased matching thread and rayon seam tape. This will enclose the raw edges of the wool to keep it from fraying and create a nice finish. Now that our mock-up is complete and we've worked out any pattern or fit issues, we're ready to move on to the fashion fabric. Join me next time as we complete and reveal the finished Pullman suit project. 